Um, I got my undergraduate degree at MIT in biology and my PhD is in computer science. And throughout my career I've uh, worked extensively in using uh, computer science techniques to analyze uh, uh, language uh, and looking at uh, things like uh, su information summarization. Uh, over the last six years I've become extremely interested in biology, metabolism, and disease and um, have gone back to the, uh, the, my, my passionate subject which is biology and uh, have been able to use the computer science techniques to help me uh, process research literature and my goal is to try to understand biology at a systems level, always asking why is something happening and then attempting to explain it through uh, natural, known, biochemical, biophysical mechanisms. So I was motivated to turn my attention to biology six years ago when my husband was, uh, we were caught by surprise, he was diagnosed with heart disease and surgery, a stent was inserted and uh, he was immediately put on a statin drug and um, I uh, was disappointed that I didn't know more about heart disease at that time and so I immediately started studying everything I could about heart disease and about statin drugs because he was experiencing side effects that I did not like. And I was well aware of the importance of cholesterol to the body uh, from my studies at MIT as an undergraduate uh, back before they had demonized cholesterol and I knew that it was extremely important to the brain because cholesterol, the brain contains 25% of the body's cholesterol with only 2% of the body's mass. So the brain is heavily concentrated in cholesterol and that cholesterol is extremely important to its function. So I did not like the fact that he was taking a statin drug and eventually I persuaded him to go off of it against his doctor's advice. And so for the last five years he has not been taking a statin drug and he's been doing very well in his health. So, so starting six years ago I started reading everything I could from the biological literature and started to put piece things together. I wanted to understand for myself uh, what is causing heart disease and in my journey I ended up I believe discovering what is causing Alzheimer's as well and I became intensely I interested and started to began to write papers even uh, in association with people who have MDs um, on things like Alzheimer's, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, autism. So I now have several papers published on these topics, uh, especially in the last three years.